Okay. So let's update the stream information. Let's play. Oh, it's they got them. Edge, cool. And so yeah, uh, this is a game from the nineties. I like, kind of liked when I was younger. Um, you probably see me get a bit frustrated playing this game because the controls here are terrible. I know that. It's, a company called Dad Emu made a mobile port for this game, which turned out to have better controls than a PC version. And when a mobile game has better controls than you, you know you're in trouble. So yeah. Let's see. This works. Yeah, it does. <laughs> So it's like no. You guys hear nothing, right? There we go. So yeah, I don't think I have a save gamer. Oh my goodness grace, do I have to remove? Hmm. Yeah, so you can't adjust the controls. Well, I'm going with Winston. Yeah, so that, that's the uh, main character of this uh, game. I think it's called Winston. Okay. Let's go. Twin Sun is a relatively new planet on the outskirts of a remote galaxy. Its rotational plane has stabilized between two suns. There is a huge mountain range running along its equator that divides the planet in half. Each hemisphere is warmed by a single sun. The northern hemisphere, with its orange sky, is warmer than the southern hemisphere. Except for a polar region, the planet's climate is clement. The formation of life forms on the planet was thus favorable. Four species developed over the course of the centuries. The spheros, the rabbi bunnies, the quetches, and the grobos. They all lived in harmony until a tyrant named Dr. Funfrock reared his ugly head. Ever since Funfrock's rise to power, the population has been living under a reign of terror. Funfrock set up a police state where suspicion is omnipresent. He is all-powerful and controls the people with an iron fist. He has at his disposal two high-tech weapons that ensure his power, cloning and teleportation. He can clone any of the species at will and subsequently recruit these clones into his ranks. He can then deploy these clones instantly through a network of telepods that are dispersed over the entire planet. 
A few years ago, under the guise of protecting the population, Dr. Funfrock herded the planet's habitants into the southern hemisphere. The repression is harsh. Every day brings more and more arrests, and the people slowly begin to lose hope. In an effort to keep their spirits up, the people sometimes evoke an ancient legend along with the name of a goddess, Thendal. The mentioning of the legend, or Thendal, has since been forbidden by Dr. Funfrock. Meanwhile, a young quetch named Twinson has been having strange dreams. Yeah, that's me, by the way. So yeah, let's just jump into it. Okay, so now I'm arrested, which is nice. How does this work again? Yeah, so... For me to be able to attack anything, I didn't need to change to aggressive. To run, I need to be athletic. <laughs> you know, to sneak. I need to be discreet. How's it going? You're being held here because you're a troublemaker. An informant told us that you claim to have prophetic dreams. Calm down. We're going to dissect. I, I mean, take care of you. Okay. Um, how's it going? Yeah. You're being held here because you're a troublemaker. An informant told us that you claim to have prophetic dreams. Calm down. We're going to dissect. I, I mean. Take care of you. Oh yeah. Uh, uh let's get aggressive and <laughs> and back to sport. I see it. No F one, F two. I think yeah I can. I have no idea why they made it like this, but yeah. I guess it seemed like a really good idea when they did it. Okay. Okay, thank you for the key. That's the alarm. Let's not press that one. Yeah. 
Must not run into things. That's stupid. Three. My stuff here. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, you really shouldn't run into things. <laughs> see. Okay, so now it looks like them, which is nice. I guess. You've just rediscovered your ID card. You've just rediscovered your hollow map. You can use it by going through your inventory with the shift key or access it directly with the H key. So best mapping ever. So I need to go there, and I'm here. All right. Oh, did this. Okay, they have to sneak past this guy, I'm pretty sure. Am I moving? I'm leaving. Okay. Let's try again. How's it going? Gah, I rummaged around here as there's no one guarding this place. I hide in the truck so that the guards won't see me. You just have to jump into the pile of garbage and be very discreet about it. <laughs> okay. Or maybe not. So is that car coming back? Let's 
So he said I'd be discreet, but I'll try jumping on top of it. See if that works. Okay, it looks like that. Huh. Discreet is one of the things you're you, less likely to use in this game. And given that this game was released back in the 90s, for it to have like That most that much voice acting was kind of unique. Is that a god? How's it going? Hey, what are you doing there? Did you know that you can read the posters? All you have to do is move in front of one and use the action command while in normal mode. Just gonna make sure there's enough sound in this game. Let's see. Announcement number 357G. A new automatic surveillance device is now operating in the city. All citizens must remain motionless if one of these devices is in their vicinity. Long live the venerable Dr. Funfrock, the one who saved us from all the superstitions. I'm not sure if I want to go inside here. Oh, dude. I can't open this chest with this blasted trick bag of mine. Oh, <laughs> give me a hand, and I'll let you keep some of what's inside. All you have to do is move in front of the chest while in normal mode and use the action command. You can do the same for rummaging through lots of things like cupboards, garbage cans, etc. Uh, let's see what you got then. A coin. Oi, a lot of coins. That's nice. Thank you. What's going on over here? Uh, this is not where I'm supposed to go, so I'll go so I'll go. I need to get back to my house. Oh, let's go. Where's my health bar? Uh, how's it going? Leave me alone. I have nothing to say to you. Uh, how's it going? Good day. Hello? Yeah, I kind of figured.
Okay, that guy is bad news. He cannot see me. That's fun rock, by the way. Fun frog, fun frog, fun rock. Something fun at least. <laughs> That's my wife. You've returned at last, my love. Come inside quickly. All the clones must be looking for you. Okay, so this place, this is kind of problem. So I don't think you can save in this game. I've just escaped from the asylum. They think that I am a troublemaker because of the strange dreams I have. The ones where Sendel is calling me. I spoke to you about them on several occasions. I think it's time to make use of what you hid in the house. Okay, so I need to find uh, the entrance somewhere in the house. Uh, let see here. So. <laughs> so they got me good. Uh, I'm pretty sure that I need to get. Okay, there's my health. That I'm supposed to get arrested there. So that at that. So. I can go back to my house. Stop squirming, prisoner Twinson. <laughs> that blue elephant, by the way, is what, uh, a prisoner has escaped. Sound the alarm. Oh yeah, the blue elephant, he shoots his homing the thingy, which, um, yeah, it homes in on me, and uh, if I can't escape it, a I'm prisoner has escaped. pretty much dead meat. Okay, there is. So, yeah, I kind of need to avoid him. So, uh, it was because um, I should have uh, knocked down that guy who was patrolling. And he got the sound alarm, and when he sounds the alarm, I'm pretty much done for. Stop squirming, prisoner Twinson. So. A 
Hector has escaped. Sound the alarm. Stop jumping, please. Thank you. Okay, so this time I need to finish off to the right person, which is this guy over here. There we go. A prisoner has escaped. Sound the alarm. Now, let's get those clothes back on. Ow. Oh, can't get him now, huh? That kind of sucks. You've just got back all the objects that were in your inventory. Ah, yeah. Yeah, it's a big blue one over there. Procedure as last time. Getting it. Let's try talking to him again, see if it works. I'm looking for a young girl. She's being escorted by two Grobel clones. Gah, I rummaged around here as there's no one guarding this place. I hide in the truck so that the guards won't see me. You just have to jump into the pile of garbage and be very discreet about it. <laughs> I haven't seen them. Okay, so how do I do this? <laughs> Let's try now. No? I just have to wait for the truck to move into place. Okay, so I, I guess I'm going back to the house. Been a couple of years since I played this game, but yeah, I have to get back to the house and find some things. Okay, let's 
Let's run. Stupid fence. Stupid can. There's like a subsystem over here or sewers, I mean. When you are in an extremely dangerous situation. Thank you. Clover box, which can hold extra lives. So, can I jump over here? It's locked. Let's get out of here. I'm looking for a young girl. She's being escorted by two robo clones. Okay, I get it. I'm looking for a young girl. She's being escorted by two global clones. I'm looking for a young girl. Oh no. Ah, escape, that's a button. Let's see inside the cabinet. Teleporting yourself, it's very dangerous. Only the clones can do it. Okay. I'm looking for a young girl. Oh, I haven't seen them. Sorry. Don't ever try teleporting. Okay, that's fine. Are you showing off? I'm looking for a young girl. She's being escorted by two. I know where they went, and I'll help you if you buy me a drink. Ask the waiter about it.
I would like to buy a drink for the Grobo upstairs. <laughs> Very good, sir. But, but, but that will cost you ten cashes per drink. It's okay. Let's go. Yeah. I'll move. I'm looking for a young girl. I haven't seen them. That, yeah, the clones already confiscated the key to my cellar. So don't be surprised when they come back to close down the tavern. Uh, you, you look kind of lost, Mr. Nerd. Mr. Nurse? Oh yeah, good times. I'm looking for a young... I saw them at the port a little while ago. They were leaving for another island. Yep. It's strange. Because prisoners usually stay at the Citadel. Yeah. Yeah, first, let's get home. Okay, so where's my house up here? Oh, and it's been being protected, guarded. Okay, not here. Where is that went placed in Shafton? Okay, let's go. This is my You just earned the first level of magic by finding the tuning left for you by your ancestor. You will be able to store up magic with it. Cool. Uh so yeah, I can draw it, which is nice. Mm. So I'm not going inside here? Guess not. 